You ought to look carefully on where you're going. I can feel a strong sense of abnormality. You are curious about who I am. I never existed. You imagined me. You're imagining everything. Your mind shattered into a million pieces when you arrived here, and I'm just one of them. them, them, them. Wake up. Fear not. Open your eyes and follow the light. Welcome to a new world. That is how the level in today's video begins. And let me tell you, it just keeps getting crazier. I can't even lie to you. Level is level 306 from the fandom, and I won't make you sit for long before I give you this explanation because I genuinely love this level. It's awesome. Let's go ahead and get right into it, and let's see what all this means, shall we? Leave a like if you enjoy the video, you want more like this. The first couple minutes of this explanation will be the dialogue of the beginning of the level, then I will get into my usual description of it in the usual Brugly format. But with all that out of the way, let's go. My manifestation is entirely based on your mental instability. You are not supposed to see me if you are sane, and vice versa. To be more precise, I am your ability of cognition and memorization. The other personalities you have fled, including your past memories, join me on a journey through this place. You can see an endless expanse of walls made from dull plastic. Somehow, this place looks like it's undergone a paintball fight, as paint can be seen splattered on all the walls. A foul smell of paint and renovation infiltrates your lungs via the air. You are greatly distracted by the unpleasant smell. As you walk along the empty and soulless corridors, the scent reduced and you can finally have a glance at your situation. Along the halls are empty canvases and bulletin boards and papers, all of which seem eerily barren and blank. An unfinished painting appears ahead. You walk slowly towards it. Something about this painting seems off, incomplete and unholy. You see yourself, you see the guide, you see me, you see everything and nothing at the same time. Out of seemingly nowhere, a new figure appears out of the darkness to your right. Do not wake up. So yeah, that was the beginning kind of dialogue written about this level. It kind of puts you in the right perspective and headspace for the explanation, which I'll be getting into right now. Level 306 of the Backrooms is also known as your childhood art school and it is an insane level to say the least it has been given a class psi difficulty rating and is unsafe and unsecure and is just very dangerous in general due to the mental and cognito hazards that you'll experience here the level appears as follows your childhood art school resembles an infinitely expanding indoor facility that is decorated and laid out like a elementary school that you might have went to as a kid the interior walls and floors and ceiling are all painted and decorated with very bright, very vibrant and soft colors and textures. And on the walls, there are childish bulletin boards and drawings and decorations and pretty much everything that you'd find in like a preschool building. Imagine that, but like times 10, because it's everywhere here. The level shows signs of chaos and clutter throughout, with paints being splattered all over the walls and different places having random drawings and markings all over them. As the beginning said, the entire expanse smells like paint and renovation. The hallways of this level branch out in arbitrary directions, and some of them end abruptly and others continue on for ages. Classrooms can be accessed from these hallways too, where more of the same can be found. Empty rooms, colorful decorations and desks and drawings and chalkboards, whatever you can imagine, you'll be able to find here. There are also staircases that can be accessed in different parts of the level as well, which means that this level has multiple floors that you can explore. The art and the drawings on this level typically revolve around the back rooms, its entities, and humans, with most of the drawings being very kid-like and showing backrooms, entities, and people side by side peacefully existing together. 
and most of the art typically has that harmony between entities and humans as its main focus. It is unknown who drew these drawings. The level produces an extreme feeling of nostalgia and an aura of deja vu throughout its entire expanse, with things like hallucinations and false memories being extremely, extremely common. For instance, you could be walking down one of the hallways here and look to your left, and you'll get a glimpse of your old elementary school and your old teacher's classrooms and even maybe an old friend. And then you look away and look back and it's gone. It's back to how the level used to look. Some people have even claimed to see their old friends walking around the level's hallways here. This level can also produce to wanderers something known as the level 306 effect, which is where humans start to believe that this level is safe and is no longer hostile and that they can communicate with entities because entities are like their childhood friends. I mentioned earlier that the paintings and drawings here typically show and depict entities and humans kind of being friendly, and this level can give you the effect and the delusion that everybody can be friendly to entities. But because of this, anyone who falls under the level 306 effect might actually have the ability to communicate and tame entities. This has caused a huge hubbub in the back room since it happened, and if that is true, it would be a game changer because people could talk and, you know, be with creatures without getting eaten by them. A common thing to see while in this level is a false manifestation of a winged eye creature flying through the hallways. These are known as eye angels. They can look pretty uncanny and scary, but they're actually typically friendly, and when you interact with them, they can lead you to safe parts of the level or places where you can get supplies for drawings. They are very uncanny and very unnatural though, and they can freak a person out, so try not to be too scared, because you can mess up your mind. It is said that after wandering the level for a very long time, one will get the urge to walk into a classroom and begin to draw or paint something. This is another effect that the level gives you, and it can actually be pretty cool, because even if you can't draw, or if you can't paint, or if you're just not artistic, the level gives you the ability to be that, and it amplifies your skills to make you pretty much an artist. Whatever you choose to draw will be very well done, and no one knows how they complete what they do. No one also knows why it happens, or why the level makes it happen, but that would explain how all the arts got to this level. It's from the previous wanderers that have been here. But besides the eye angels and the strange hallucinated entities, nothing actually lives here that we know of. But again, it's kind of hard to tell because of the hazards and stuff here. It's kind of all a blur, really. But to enter the level, you kind of have to get chosen to come here, and you'll know that you've been chosen when you start seeing those eye angels in your peripheral vision. These visions only appear on high mental hazard levels and to people who are losing their sanity. So if you begin to go crazy and lose your sanity in the level, you might get sent to this place. Pretty much the level's only for insane people. Which means all of you will probably be there. To exit the level, you can actually tell an eye angel that you see that you want to leave, and they'll lead you to a staircase that takes you out of the level. Simple as that. It is unknown at this time if the level is real and an actual physical place, or if it's a shared hallucination by multiple wanderers, we don't really know. But whatever the case is, if you see or visit this level, it's honestly likely the last thing you're going to be able to do, because many people go here and they never leave. So yeah, don't go too crazy in the back rooms, don't lose your mind too much, or you could get sent to this permanent childhood school place. Thanks for watching!